Hello and welcome to another Motivational Monday. Mondays can be tough, which is why we need to start out on the right foot and be motivated. Motivated in God's Word. Today we are talking about being certain of God's supply. Our scripture comes from Philippians 4.19 And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So he will supply every need of yours according to his will, according to his riches and glory. All of us face needs in our lives and sometimes they are beyond our own means. Those are not the times to panic or let anxiety take over or give up in defeat. Those are the times where God wants you to lean in and draw from his unlimited resources to meet our needs as only he can. When financial problems come your way, do you believe God can handle them? What about your health? Do you really believe he can heal you if it is his will? What about issues or needs with your children or parents? Or your church? Scripture tells us that God's provision is more than adequate to meet our needs. More than adequate. These are many promises from God spread out over the Bible. But one in particular is Hebrews 4.16. Let us then with confidence, confidence, draw near to the throne of grace that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. It's a great verse. If you are not experiencing God's abundant provisions, what's the matter? What is the problem? Is the difficulty with God? No. Maybe it is that you do not really believe that God is there and ready to meet your need. If you are a child of God, having received Jesus into your heart, every one of God's resources are available to you. God's supply of blessings will never be exhausted and no one has ever been shortchanged when trusting God. Unfortunately, we live and act like God's abundant resources will somehow run out or not be available to us. We are children of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Why do we live like we have nothing? Would the ones that are closest to you give testimony that your life shows evidence of an unwavering belief that God will do what he says he will do? Think about that today and pray on it. And I tell you, until then, be blessed and thank you for watching.